I'm Patty and this is Little Red Southern Kitchen. Today we're going to be making cinnamon bread two ways. One is just plain cinnamon and brown sugar bread. The other one is cinnamon raisin bread. Alright, let's get started. And here I have two cups of warm water. It's not over 110 degrees. Make it approximate. two-thirds. This part is just basically, it's an Amish sweet bread, sweet yeast bread. We need two-thirds of a cup of sugar. And then I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons of yeast. I'm going to give it a little whirl. Alright, we're going to let that proof for about 10 minutes and we'll bring you back. Okay, our yeast is proofed. It's all frothy. At this time, I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of vegetable oil. And I'm going to start adding my flour, my bread flour, of course. I'm going to probably need between five and six cups. I've got another bag. I'm going to start with two. But if I put this on, I'll be wearing the flour. My friend, who's actually I call her mama, has been wanting me to make this forever. I made her yeast bread, but she's been wanting cinnamon raisin bread. So today she's coming to pick up all kinds of food. Oh, I hope that was for time whenever I first got my mixer and I was making <clears throat> bread all of the time I went to my doctor and they always tested my blood and he said that I had alcohol in my system and I'm like there's no way because number one I don't drink well because of the yeast <laughs> my body was making it on own alcohol my friend called, told me that I was walking still. And I can speed it up. And that takes care of the kneading. Okay, I'm going to add yep, my last one. That's not... That's still too tacky. Put the rest in here. I'll wash this and uh, put my other bag in. <laughs> it's spit. 
spitting out at me. Alright, over here. Oh, there it goes. Over here I have a uh, bowl that I'm going to coat with the uh, oil. I mean, cooking spray. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay. I don't know if I've ever told y'all the story. I've always wanted a KitchenAid mixer. And a couple of years ago, I had told Tony what I wanted. For Christmas, and I, I wanted my air fryer, and I wanted a. What else did I want? Anyway, I don't remember. Well, there was another box, but I, I just thought it was something silly. And when I opened it, I started crying <laughs> because I did not expect that. couple times in here. Okay, now I'm going to cover this loosely with wrap and I'm going to stick it in the oven with the light on but the oven off. Heck, set it right this time. It's probably going to be about an hour. So, we will see y'all then. Okay, let me show you what I did do. Because one of these is going to have raisins in it. I have some golden raisins that I put in some warm water to plump them up. Let me drain these. And I mixed up in this bowl because, like I said, she doesn't care for brown sugar. This is some cinnamon and white sugar. And in here is for the, this is uh, brown sugar and cinnamon. And what am I doing? Oh, I need, I got the butter. Alright, yeah, it's not tacky. I'm going to cut this in half. I'm as close to in half as I can get. Spray my pans. And you know, just like everything else, this, this isn't the Rachel Ray, so this doesn't have a warning about the cooking spray. These are tasty things. Let me... I've already got it wet. Only work with one at a time. I'm not going to use a, what you call that thing, rolling pin. <laughs> For this, I'm just going to pat it out. I'm going to make this one first. Okay. I had to shove. Oh, Lord, what a mess. Alright guys, this is still not, this is not loose enough. I'll be right back. I'm going to put some of this in the uh, microwave and melt it. 
Okay, guys, I melted some butter, but first I wanted to apologize. I definitely need to get a camera because we're having a lot of trouble with this phone. I've been using this Galaxy Note 5 for three years since I've been on here, and it's just worn out, so I've got to find, get a camera. All right, I melted the butter. I'm just going to coat Oh yeah, this makes it easier. Not too much messy, but okay. Yeah, this is more sugar. This is gonna make all kinds of tunnels for it for cinnamon raisins. I was gonna do craisins for ours, but the bag I had was old, so. Okay. Now, put some raisins on here. These are, like I said, these are golden raisins. And I popped them up because they were extremely dry. Excuse me. Excuse you. Said the nun. Never get work though. There we go. All right. Plop that in there. All right. Let's work on this other loaf. Like I said, this is going to be just be sweet. cinnamon and brown sugar. And it's my brown sugar is a mixture of light and, uh, my hands, light and dark brown sugar. I love dark sugar, dark brown sugar. It's richer, and I like it. I know it's more, it is richer, actually. Some people don't like it, but I don't care. <laughs> it's good. Oh, Lord, my back's hurting. I got a lot to cook. I'm this weekend with or everything I've cooked this weekend and I'm cooking this weekend is going to cover my videos until next Sunday. So, <laughs> trying to get a little, a little bit more. I mean, my views are pretty good. My watch hours are good. But, y'all know. Y'all know how it is. Oh, I'm about to put that one on here. This won't be so hard to do. I went out this morning because I needed more brown sugar. And they didn't have any dark brown. I just went to the grocery right near us. I didn't go to Walmart. I didn't feel like riding all the way out there. I mean, it's only like four miles, but I didn't feel like doing that. I went yesterday to Walmart, and oh my God, the people. It was busy, but people weren't like all over each other. Everybody was practicing social distancing. They weren't walking down the right way on the aisles. <laughs> I mean, they'd be standing right on it, going the wrong way. 
Nah, but that's just that's just me. Which one's hers? No, oh, the smaller one is hers. I won't be cutting hers though, so, but I will be cutting mine, ours. All right, I'm gonna put this back in the oven with the oven off and the light on for about another half hour so it can rise. This can rise, and then we're gonna bake it. Be back shortly. Okay. Tony came up with an idea about sprinkling some brown sugar and cinnamon on top so we'll know which one's which. I mean, I guess we can put, put it up to the side. But these set out in the oven for about a little over half an hour. And I my oven, I preheated my oven to 350. I'm going to pop them, pop them in there. And they're going to cook about 30 minutes. And then we will bring you back for the next step. All right, I got these out of the oven. I'm gonna. This one got a crack in it. This one's ours. I'm gonna put some butter on here. I'm not gonna slice them until they've cooled. The buttery and cinnamon butter, brown sugar juice burnt the crap out of my fingers a while ago. Quid. Yep. Hers is pretty, and I'm glad. Alright guys, I'm gonna let these cool, and then we'll bring you back and slice them up after a while. See you soon. Hey guys, I am sorry, I've got something to tell y'all in mission. I about forgot about this. Today I cooked so much stuff and shot so many videos. We was getting ready to go to bed. That's why I'm in my gown, gown and robe. And remember that we haven't done the end of this. And let me tell you what, it is so good. Well, this is our cinnamon bread. Like I said, I, I sold my cinnamon raisin bread so I couldn't get a picture of that. And I want to thank y'all for joining me. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment. 